Hey guys, welcome to another daily video from 88 Rotors. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have road. some fun today. We're going on a six hour road trip up north to Hayward to pick up a new project and toy car. As you guys may already know, we are from sunny SoCal, but look at the crazy weather we have to drive through. So I decided to drive my Tundra up north with the intention of getting a one-way trailer rental to bring the car back. With the prices dropping on the Audi R8 V10 and depreciation on these bad boys are close to flattening out, I've decided to pick one up to play with. I reached out to SV Enthusiasts, a dealership in Hayward, and decided to make the drive up. And here we are at SV Enthusiasts in Hayward, California. This 2010 Audi R8 V10 with Artronic transmission checked out as expected. Low mileage, V10, red interior, ooh wee, I'm loving it. After closing the deal on it, I decided to just drive the car back so I can have some fun with it instead of trailering it back. My buddy Johnny came along so we switched up driving the Tundra and R8. I originally wanted a V10 manual with a gated shifter, but those are just so hard to come by now. And when you find them, they're all overpriced or not in the color setup that I wanted. I've driven the R8 many times, but after a six hour drive with my own, I'm truly appreciating it. Now I know why everyone says the R8 is the ultimate sports car to daily drive. Well, they say it's the ultimate exotic, but I myself don't consider it an exotic. The Artronic for this year, the V10, was much better than I thought. Audi's adoption of the e-gear for their Artronic system came from the Gallardo, which was ironed out by 2010. I stayed away from the e-gears from Lamborghini all the way until 08 when I picked up the LP640, so I know exactly what I'm getting myself into. I've always had automated manuals, including the Modena, F430, 458, and my current Aventador that I have. The single clutch on the Artronic system shifts are clean and not so raw. The car feels too tame for me, so on the way back, I was already thinking of the mods I'd want to do to it. The car is definitely too quiet. I know that's gonna be one of my first mods. I was checking around online to see what was offered for the R8 and ran into a video from a few years back on YouTube from a buddy of mine that was running a Rev9 titanium exhaust. To be honest, I've never heard of this brand, but I see quite a few R8s running them online when I searched it up. And it came with a lot of great reviews. They sound pretty darn good too. So I decided to send over a text. I shot him a text and asked him about the experience he had with the exhaust system. He told me he loved it and he is the owner of the brand itself. And since I'm an impatient person, it was really good news when he told me he had one in stock and ready to go for me. Traffic was building up, so we took a slight detour on the way back and definitely enjoyed the curvy roads. I've always had a thing for carbon fiber. The entire engine bay was already carbon on this thing. I needed more carbon, so I reached out to German Rush, a local US manufacturer of carbon fiber products, and Lewis had me set up and ready to go. I picked up some carbon fiber side blades, front splitters, and a rear diffuser from him. I also needed to slam this bad boy, so I hit up my boys over at BC Racing for a set. We are an authorized dealer for BC, so we already know the quality of the products that they offer. I also ordered an EDC delete for the mag ride from KW Suspension as well, which is expected to come in a couple of weeks or so. So here it is, the R8 is back at 88 Rotors and we're ready to let the modding begin. Here you can see our tech removing the entire rear end to install the exhaust system. And here's the German Rush front splitter installed on the vehicle. What do you guys think of all the dead bugs on the front bumper from the drive back? Here's a closer look of the Rev9 titanium exhaust. Check out the sick pie cut bends on this thing. I can literally carry the entire exhaust with only one or two fingers. The entire exhaust is only about 11 or 12 pounds. For the wheels and tires on this, we decided to go with a set of 20 by 12 rear and a 19 by 9 front setup from ADV1. They are the ADV005 track spec with the brush face and lip with the tinted finish. I'm pushing a 335-25-20 rear and a 245-35-19 front Michelin Pilot Sport 4S setup. I've been wanting to run this tire, but none of my other cars called for the sizes that they offered until now. Boy, did these tires stick and feel so good on the road. You can peek through the vents and see the titanium exhaust here. It looks clean and silver still, but wait a couple days and the sweet blue and purple coloring will start to form from the heat. Gotta love that look. 
you can see the carbon fiber rear diffuser from German Rush installed. And for those that are wondering what that hanging thing right there is, it's the radar sensor. Shown here, the BC racing coilovers have not come in yet, so here we are still at stock height. We're lowering the vehicle down to test out the new exhaust system that was just installed. Here you can see the side blades from German Rush. And here's a different day. The BC Racing coilovers are in and we are now starting the process to install them. We hope that you're enjoying the video so far, and if you do so, please give us a thumbs up. Here's the passenger side, side blades installed. If you have an RA and you're interested in some of these parts, feel free to give us a call anytime. We're more than happy to give you the best prices possible and install it for a very reasonable price. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on that notification bell also, that way you won't miss any of our future videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. We'll always get back to them as soon as possible. For now, please continue to watch the rest of the video to see how this vehicle turns out. Now that the vehicle is done with phase one, wheels, tires, exhaust, and a few carbon fiber parts on, we're ready for our boy Danny to come over and give it a nice wash in detail. What do you guys think? Did we create the ultimate daily driven sports car? Drop a comment down below and let us know. Pretty satisfied with one week's work. Got the car, modded it, lowered it, exhaust, 
wheels, tires, and some carbon fiber parts. It looks pretty good for phase one. I have quite a few plans for this thing. Next, I'm dropping it off over at our boy Randy at DreamWorks Auto Center. He's fixing a small ding on the vehicle that's been bugging me, trying to make the exterior look flawless, and DreamWorks is the place to go to get that done. He's also going to do a deep detail of the vehicle for me. Of course, there's no such thing as enough carbon fiber. I'm also hitting up my boy Alan over at ART Carbon to make some more goodies for this thing. I'm still waiting on a ton of carbon parts for my Aventador as well, so maybe I'll make a video of both when they both arrive. Well, thank you very much for viewing, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give us that thumbs up, hit that like, also subscribe to our channel, and turn on that notification bell. That way you won't miss any of our future videos. For now, please enjoy the rest of the video and check out the exhaust. Shout out to all my people that helped me with this one-week build, and there's a lot more to come, so stay tuned.